Oracle Applications Database Stack Installation Summary for Oracle eBusiness Suite Release 12.2.5. Now, before we go into this particular lesson, I'm going to tell you a couple of things. First thing is the installation environment is on Oracle Linux 5.x x 8664 operating system, and then the exact installation will consist of these products which will include Oracle Database 12C exact version is 12.1.0.2.0 then Oracle IAS 10.1.2 within the application tier and then within the application tier you've got these three more products which include Oracle Web Tier 11.1.1.9.0 Oracle Fusion Middleware 11.1.1.9.0 and then Oracle WebLogic Server 10.3.6.0.0 Now, other thing that I would like to state that we are already on 12.2.5 and I'm gonna quickly take you through the front end to show you so that you believe that we have indeed completed the full installation on this particular installation environment. The last thing is these two movies will show you 10 steps which will lead us to the installation of Oracle eBusiness Suite release 12.2.5. Those 10 steps will include certain steps for the database tier and certain steps for the application tier environment. So let's go to the front end and I'm going to quickly show you that we are indeed on release 12.2.5. So for that, I'm going to go to our browser and here I'm going to log in to our environment so I'm going to type this particular URL and so this leads us to the login page as you could see the login page splash screen the user interface is slightly different as compared to the previous versions of Oracle eBusiness Suite. Anyway, I'm going to simply log in with one of the standard users that comes within Vision Demonstration Environment, which is what I have installed. And then hit the login button, which will lead us to a main page consisting of all the responsibilities which have been assigned to this particular user and those will be listed on the left hand side as you could see over here fine now what i will do is i will immediately go to my favorites and from here i'm going to go to one of my favorites let's say payables invoices which is going to open a java based form and hopefully the system will ask me for some acceptance since the java that i have installed is slightly older but it's been installed to accommodate oracle ebusiness suite environment all right so the entire reason why i'm taking you to this form is to show that we are indeed on release 12.2.5 with oracle database 12c so to see that i'm going to simply go to help and then about oracle applications which is what it's going to show us what exactly the versions we are on and as you could see we are on oracle applications 12.2.5 which is on rdbms 12.1.0.2.0 fine so if you scroll down you will see other details in terms of form server what exactly the current form is which is something i'm not interested to explain at the moment fine so as we go along in this particular course i'm going to show you how you can come to this particular installation right from the basics of linux installation and then installing release 12.2.0 using rapid wizard and then upgrading to 12.2.5 now coming back to our presentation so the entire idea for showing you that was to tell you that we are indeed on release 12.2.5 and we have gone through all the steps that I'm going to show you. So in other words, the steps that I have listed over here are very authentic. We have gone through all that and executed all this. So the first step 
to install is obviously you've got to have the base environment in place which is to install release 12.2.0 and for that you need to first install oracle linux do all the kernel level settings for oracle linux and then launch the rapid base installation wizard and then within the installation wizard it's going to ask you for settings related to the database application type and then you pro provide all those details it's going to validate all that information not only what you have provided but also the kernel level settings and from then on you can proceed further with the installation and finish it off the installation can take a couple of hours depending on your machine hardware okay so as far as this is concerned i haven't encountered any issues at all it was quite straightforward but oracle has given a number of notes pertaining to issues that people encountered during release 12.2.0 installation so since i have not encountered anything and it's pretty much straightforward so i'm going to jump on to step number two which is upgrading from release 12.2.0 to 12.2.5 so this is the major step in this entire installation because you've got to apply a number of patches pertaining to the database tire and to the application tire so as far as this movie is concerned i'm going to concentrate on the steps that you've got to take for the database tire so you've got to follow this particular note that i have written on the right hand side which is document id 159427 4.1 Oracle eBusiness Suite release 12.2 consolidated list of patches and technology bug fixes. So assuming that if it's a new installation environment then you've got to follow the steps I have listed here. So the first step would be run Oracle eBusiness Suite technology code level checker for database tire which is also known as ETCC to identify the missing patches for database tire. So when I ran on the database tire it has identified these two patches which is 2102698 and 2161412 so at that point i was already on start cd version 51 and it just gave me two patches to apply and then i have applied these patches however if you are on a previous version of start cd let's say version number 48 or 49 then you've got to follow this particular document which will list down a number of patches that you've got to apply to upgrade from let's say if you're on start cd version number 48 then you've got to apply all the remaining patches to upgrade from 48 to 49 including the patches which have to be applied for 51 and the patches which are not included any start cd at all so in my case since i was already on the latest version of start cd which is 51 i have to apply on the, these two patches so feel free to have a look at this particular note which will detail out a lot of things once you have applied all the patches that have been recommended by oracle e business suite technology code level checker then you've got to rerun it so that etcc will update the database and revalidate and find out the patches have been already applied and it will update it accordingly okay so don't forget to rerun this because this is something mandatory if you don't rerun it then you will get an error while you are applying patches in application tire as well as while you are upgrading to release 12.2.5 then step number 3 apply pre upgrade patches to application tire which is covered in the next lesson this includes patches pertaining to oracle ias fusion middleware server common fusion middleware server web tire and oracle web logic server then you've got to apply consolidated c table upgrade patch and then ad and txk release update pack Once you have applied the AD and TXK release update pack as a final step of AD and TXK release update pack you've got to generate the apps util.zip file 
using a special Perl utility that Oracle has provided. And once you have generated the apps util.zip file, then you've got to extract its contents on the auto config directory for database tire. And then you have to run the auto config for database tire and then for application tire. Unless you do that, if you simply proceed ahead and apply the path for release 12.2.5, you will get a number of errors and you will not be able to upgrade to release 12.2.5. So anyway, these are the summary of steps for Oracle Applications Database as a part of installing release 12.2.5. And then in the next movie, I'm gonna take you through the remaining steps which is from step number four to step number 10 for the application tire as a part of release 12.2.5 installation on Linux x86-64 with Oracle Database 12C.